Welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today I wanted to show you the Jetway HA08 AM3 motherboard. So this one here will take only AM3 CPUs. So the Hummer series is known for its support for the latest AMD CPUs. This one here is no different. It supports 140 watt CPU support. It has built in graphics, it has built in LAN, it has all the required components and features that you would need so you don't have to go out and buy additional ones. It's all in one board. Now this ATX board will of course support the latest Phenom 2s and the new Athlon 2 X2 that just came out as well. It has as you can see here at the top a nice heat sink and copper heat pipe going from the voltage regulators at the top to the center where the 790GX chipset, uh, the north bridge is underneath that. You can see here also the uh, slots for your DDR3 uh, RAM that is going to go in there. Up to 8 gigs of uh, RAM you can install there, okay, up to uh, 1333 megahertz. The IDE connectors at the bottom in blue beside these two little switches for reset and powering off the uh, board if you're overclocking. And you can see right beside it the yellow um, SATA ports, six of them, which support RAID and also a fan header right beside it. Now if you install a uh, very large, thick, uh, two-slot GPU card right there on the PCI Express, it's going to cover these two uh, SATAs. So just keep that in mind, okay? Uh, if you install two uh, PCI Express cards uh, in Crossfire there, you um, will run one at x16 and the other one at 8x. If you only run one GPU card, you'll have to install this switch card right in there so that way the uh, primary GPU on the x16 runs at x16. Otherwise, it will run at x8. Okay, so that's why they give you that switch card to install. Now, moving along here, as you can see, we have the Southbridge chipset, which is uh, covered by a nice round heatsink. And on the bottom, you've got the connectors for all the uh, the board components, you know, the LEDs and, and the power buttons. On the side here, you've got your floppy connector, uh, four USB headers. You can see them here along the side. And along the top here corner, you've got the infrared, the serial port. You've got the uh, audio connectors right here. All the headers are on the top corner. Right beside that, you've got the two PCI Express 32-bit, the um, PCI Express 1X right there beside that. And uh, right there, there's a little switch there so you can reset the CMOS. Very handy if you're overclocking so that way you don't have to take out the battery. You just press that button, it clears the CMOS. Looking at it from the back, you've got your 8-channel audio, so 7.1-channel audio, your surround sound. You've got the uh, Gigabyte LAN that I mentioned and four additional USB ports along with an eSATA, your standard VGA and DVI out for the integrated Radeon HD3300, your uh, mouse connectors, the PS2 mouse connectors as well, and at the back you've got another connector for an eSATA if you wanted to plug that into the front of your case. There's your 8-pin power connector and right beside it there's a fan connector as well for another fan. Okay, so those yellow connectors that you might see on this board are for the fans, of course, here at the top. There's another connector for the CPU fan, the four pin right there at the top. So there's the uh, socket, like I mentioned, for the AM3 is a closer look. And what I did here is I took um, took this out and took out the bracket. There's the back of the uh, of the board, so you can see the color and the, and how it comes. And I installed in this case actually the new Athlon 2 X2. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do here on this uh, AMD Dragon system. After I put the board in there, I took out the uh, black bracket and I installed a GTX 260 NVIDIA card as well as the brand new uh, Athlon 2 X2 and I wanted to see if we could overclock it, how good this board was in supporting uh, Corsair DDR3 1600 megahertz RAM. So as you can see, without too much effort, I overclocked this um, processor that was running 3 gigahertz to almost 3.4 gigahertz up the voltage from the BIOS of course and here are the settings for the RAM as you can see so the RAM uh, was running it did accept the 1600 megahertz RAM even though uh, it maxes out at uh, 1333 when you uh, set it up in the BIOS right it won't uh, accept the 1600 setting but I run it at 1333 and here's some benchmarks so you can see the benchmarks that I got at the uh, default settings right because we're really looking to see how this motherboard performs and um, 
and its flexibility, right, with the latest processors and the RAM and NVIDIA card. So I tried to mix it up a little bit, right, instead of the standard AMD stuff, the standard stuff that I usually put in there, uh, I tried to get some different components and see if it would... Uh, if it would perform without any problems and it did so that's what I liked about this board I mean for about a hundred dollars uh, you get the uh, complete kit everything you need you don't need to go out and buy another video card of course uh, it comes with the drivers for Windows Vista I did test this out on Windows 7 so I was pleased that it does work fine on Windows 7 there's your switch card that I mentioned so you have to install that on the second PCI Express slot if you do go out and buy a card for this and you install it on the first slot the uh, back plate for your ports that comes with the case uh, um, in the box of course so that's all in there and of course you're going to need all the required cables right so you've got your IDE cable your floppy cable you've got some Molex uh, cables uh, for, for your uh, SATA drives for example you've got some additional power connectors there and um, of course your your SATA cables like I mentioned right you need you need a bunch of SATA cables so you've got four of those at least in there to keep you busy I don't think you're gonna have more than four drives but you never know right so uh, it comes with all of those to keep you happy so overall I mean for the price uh, it did perform I didn't have to go out and get any BIOS updates I was able to uh, utilize uh, the BIOS without any issues and tweak the uh, the voltages of course to get uh, the system stable and that's what we wanted so I like to thank uh, Jetway for providing this uh, board and I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching